So you decided to move out to LA, and I read that you know you couldn't really afford acting classes, so you started reading books and pretty much were self-taught, correct? I mean, like I went to a bookstore and I said, you know, what's the best acting book? Yeah. And uh, they said, you know, well, Sanford Meisner's one, so. I would do it and I would work on one tech, just like wrestling. Mm -hmm. I'd work on one technique for, I don't know, six months at auditions or whatever it is, you know, open calls, like I didn't care, you know, and uh, until I like, I felt like I had like a little bit of a grasp on it. Right. And then I'd move on to the next thing. And then it took me uh, two years to get through the book, but I went through the book like maybe three, four times. Wow. And I don't know, there's a necessity level that when you really need to do it, you know yeah. what I mean, to, to try to be good at your job that you, that you just, I, it's a different, it's a different mentality, you know what I mean? You're like, yeah. I gotta do this. Man. Well, how'd you make ends meet while you were out there trying to pursue your dream? Well, I mean, I would, I would bust tables, like, but I would bust tables, like, you know, just like three days a week or yeah. something like that. I mean, you know how it is, you know, when you audition, you have yeah. to audition sometimes, like, and for, for us, there was a lot of auditions because you were playing gangbanger number one, two, three, right, four, right, right, six, right. nine, <laughs> which is kind of funny because you see like Jay Hernandez and Nick Gonzalez and you know Jacob Vargas and all these guys who are like, have success now. Right. <laughs> like 15 years ago, you see us in a, in, a, in a waiting room and we're all dressed like gangbangers with bandanas. Right. You know what <laughs> and I mean? Everybody, like, everybody knows each other. And I'm from Chicago, man. Right, so I'm exactly. like, I, don't, I really don't know. Like, I didn't know the accent that much. Sure. Like, Just work on it a little bit. You, yeah, you yeah, got yeah. something going. <laughs> What was the first professional gig you got? I, it was uh, uh, My Fellow Americans, and it was playing a, uh, uh, an illegal. Okay. It was with Jack Lemmon and James Garner, and oh. I had two scenes with them. Wow. And one of them was like a page and a half, and I didn't know who they were. Uh, you know what I mean? I yeah. thought, I was like, you know, Jack Lemmon, James Garner. He's like, grumpy old man. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Rockford Files. <laughs> I know who they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you even got to work with Sidney Poitier. Yeah, but see, I was an extra. Okay. And I saw a... I think that was like a blessing in disguise because I saw To, to So Would Love, the, the first one, right. two weeks before the open call. And I, and I remember loving that movie. And they said, Sidney Poitier is going to be in it again. I was like, what? So that was really exciting, you yeah. know? And I was like, you know, would you like to be an extra? I was like, I don't even know what that is. Am I going to be seen a little bit? Yeah. And I was the worst extra ever. <laughs> To be honest with you, if we were shooting, I'd be over here on that camera, I'd be back Look there, and then this camera, I'd be over here being like... Mugging right there. Yeah, mugging, completely. I love it. I love it.